Welcome to Propel's Gearbox installation video tutorial. What's in the box? Inside, there is oil filling bottle, a set of wrenches, a parts box, and two gearboxes these parts will be checked and fixed before shipping. Note, purchase does include oil filling bottle but due to international shipping differences around chemicals no oil is included. During our testing, SAE 10W, SAE 20W or ISO 150, ISO 220 and ISO 320 gear oils are most suitable for this gear drive, and the oil injection amount of each gear box is about 35 milliliters. Please purchase suitable gear lubricating oil locally according to the above information. If you have any questions and you receive your gear drives or anywhere along the way during installation, contact us at services at ridepropel.com. Thank you to everyone for your support. Okay, next, I will demonstrate how to install the gear drive for the first time after you receive it. How to install the gear drive. First, we need to use a 14mm wrench or ratchet to remove the wheels. Use an M3 wrench to remove the belt guard. Rotate the wheel pulley while pulling outward to remove the belt. This will be very easy. Before disassembling the motor, we need to heat the fixing screws of the motor. Because we have reinforced the motor screws with Loctite thread locker please heat them appropriately before. After heating, we use an M3 wrench to remove the four fixing screws of the motor. When disassembling, try to hold the motor with your hands as much as possible, Try not to let it hang and pull on the wiring. It is very important to heat the fixing screws before disassembling the motor pulley to ensure the Loctite seal has been broken. The fixing screws of motor pulley are very small and reinforced, so not heating them can easily strip or damage the screws and prevent them from being removed. Use an M1.5 wrench for disassembly. Next, you can use any gentle method to remove the motor pulley from the motor. We suggest a bearing puller like the one shown. The removed motor can be protected with a bag to prevent accidental scratches during operation. We will use an M4 wrench to remove the fixing screws of the bully bar. Please keep these screws safe, as they will need to be used again when installing the gear drive later. When removing the fixing screws of the lower control arm, be sure to heat it up. Use M5 wrench for disassembly. When removing the motor mount, there will be a small washer that needs to be noted. Afterwards, we can manually remove the motor mount from the rear suspension. When installing the gear drive we can distinguish whether the left and right sides of the gear drive are correct by judging the front and rear positions of the drive. After the installation direction is confirmed we began to disassemble the components on the gear drive. Use an M4 wrench to remove the bottom shell guard of the gear drive. Be sure to pay attention to the length of the two screws on the gear drive protective cover, as incorrect installation can cause the protective cover to fall off. One is longer than the other, note their positions. The oil drain screw here needs to be tightened. Use an M3 wrench to remove the screws of the four motor brackets being careful not to completely remove them. We need to use a hammer to tap the screws and push the protective plate out. We use an M5 wrench to remove the fixing screw used by Bully Bar. When installing screws, attention should be paid to both the front and back sides. Next, we will install the gear drive on the Bully Bar and lower control arm. Use tools to pre-calibrate screw hole positions. Pick up the screws that were previously removed and install them. We need to use thread locker, Loctite, to reinforce the screws and prevent them from falling out. When installing the fixing screws of the bully bar be sure to pay attention that the front and back sides of the barrel bolts, without threaded openings, face inward. These screws require thread locker. Install with M5 wrench. 
When installing the bottom shell guard of the gear drive, please refer to the direction in the video to place the long and short screws. Please confirm again whether it is tight after installation. Remove the cover from the motor guard. Take out four screws from the parts box and install the protective plate onto the motor. The interface used for the motor and gear drive is a D-shaped installation, which needs to be aligned closely. Then tighten the three motor screws in sequence. Finally, use the screws inside the parts box to reinforce the motor. Next, I'll show you the process of filling oil for the first time. Use M3 bolt to open the exhaust bolt port. Use an M4 wrench to open the oil filling port. Fill oil from the oil hole with the oil bottle. Stop refueling when oil spills out of the exhaust port. First tighten the oil inlet screw, then tighten the exhaust outlet screw. The next step is to install the tires. We need to remove one bearing on the inside of the tire. A wooden stick can be used to push out the bearing from the middle hole. Take out the shaft sleeve from the parts box with the convex surface facing outward and the flat surface facing inward. After fixing the tires, you can start the motor for testing. If the gear runs normally and there is no abnormal sound, it indicates that the installation is successful. Thank you all for your support.